Hello lovely Mario Maker people and welcome back. Winter is slowly turning into spring and new Mario Maker update will be released tomorrow. This awesome anti-gravitation glitch will probably be patched out of the game before I was able to have a lot of fun with it and super expert mode is about to hit the Mario Maker universe. So in celebration of the new super expert mode we are having a small video today about how to beat even the hardest queso levels and what super expert mechanics exist in the game and how to pull them off. So here's the first expert mechanic, the shell jump. Mario usually would not be able to jump to the platform to his right, but with the help of this small buzzy beetle shell and some muscle memory magic, it's suddenly possible. Pulling this off is rather easy. All you need to do is to throw the shell at the right moment and keep the jump button pressed. Jumping on shells in general makes a pretty cool mechanic for super expert levels. But let's have a look at the item wall jump. The new Super Mario Wii Mario is able to wall jump with items. This one is a little bit tricky to execute, but there are a ton of levels that can be cheated once you learned how to do it consistently. So how do you do this? Basically you are just wall jumping, but every time before you hit the wall you let the run button go to throw the item and then you press it, short afterwards again. It took me about 3 hours practice in this one until I was able to do it almost every time, but it was definitely worth it. Here is another cool trick. The Super Mario World Mario is not able to spin jump with items, but if he wants to proceed in the stage he needs to find a way to bring the spring from the beginning to this platform. Luckily there is a way to spin jump and carry items. All you need to do is to throw the item on a wall in front of you and hit the spin button short afterwards. So before I explain the P-Switch jump and the supreme discipline of double item jumps, I need to share a small story with you. I thought it would be fun if I made a small queso stage and challenged you all to beat it. And so I did. You can see it right now. I even made it so hard that it took me about 6 hours until I reached the door that leads to the goal for the first time. Sadly, it turns out I'm an idiot. I thought it would be fun if I had a hammer bro at the end that dies when you throw the last power block. But this is what happened. The pain was real. I tried afterwards for another 6 hours to upload the stage, but I was not able to beat it again. So no queso challenge for everyone, thanks Mr. Hammer Bro. And by the way, Hammer Bros will never ever get the tips, tricks and ideas video after this. So what is a P-switch jump? The moment you trigger a P-switch you have a very small window to jump off from them again. All you need to do is to hit the jump button at the right moment. This is by far the easiest trick I'm showing you today but it can be pretty useful. Okay and now let's talk about item double jumping. This one is super hard to pull off and by far the toughest trick I'm showing you today. If you can perform this trick consistent you are by far better in Mario Maker than I am and you are able to cheat on a ton of levels as this trick works in all Mario themes but with different timings. So how to do this? You need to throw the item mid air and then stop pressing right or left but down. If you got the timing right and you probably did not but if you got it right you only need to jump off from the item and hit the direction key and there you go. And that's it for the super expert mode special. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again after the update with tips, tricks and ideas for the new game elements. Goodbye.